Hello everybody. Um, I'm making a video about the twin flames and stuck and how to get yourself unstuck out of it. Um, what I mean stuck, you know, first of all, how you actually getting stuck uh, into a twin flames. It's uh, it is a one of those uh, things that uh, pretty much everybody who is uh, once in awakening. Um, get himself into and he looks for information how to get unstuck how to remove himself of the situation so they can start going and moving up and up before I get, uh, dig into it though um, you need to understand uh, the principle of oneness and I asked the divine uh, today you know Okay, what are we missing here? We're missing something. We, we don't understand something. Uh, how can we have so many connections with, with this person? I have this connection. With that person, I have that connection. With that person, I have totally different connection. But they're all within the soul. Divine, please, make up your mind. And if I say, well, we are all one. Your oneness with everybody we as a divine guide guides we are one with you same as that our angels are one with you the gods are one with you the universe is one with you god is the one with you because you have soul and we are all souls and we all talk to each other with souls ah okay then what's that this type of, of uh, label the twin flame says and they're like uh, well you guys have to label everything this is a soul connection that brings to people who have the same vibrations and they vibrate in the same and uh, they want the same things at the same time and you feel they feel they feel what you feel and this is how you create this twin flame part okay that was a awesome part and I asked uh, you know the questions so I was like uh, how can we help how can we we do something to to help the people to get themselves unstuck out of the situations and uh, the answer came in pretty quick and the answer was they have to learn to let go do you you know already And I'm like, okay, help me out to understand this point. So uh, they remind me I wrote this quote. Uh, this quote probably it's been for two years and I don't post it too much. I totally went out of my mind because they're already 400. When you write like all 400 quotes, you can't even quote yourself because there's so many of it. Um, but here is what the quote is, uh, the, the universe is in you, all you need to do is uh, accept uh, as your true home and you will find home where you belong to, to learn and grow your soul. And uh, this is the part that I, I made a one video a long time ago, how to get yourself unstuck uh, from 5D because a lot of the people are actually stuck on a 5D level and that's the part when you replace the image of your twin with the image of the universe you put the universe inside of it and then you're gonna go and you're gonna go evolve with the universe not with the, your twin because your twin can limitate you uh, your twin if they don't want to talk to you if they don't want to have nothing to do with you or they just promise you something like uh, uh, I found uh, quite a few people that uh, their twin is like you know what I'll call you we'll talk we'll set everything right and they never call never show universe gotta tell you one thing uh, that uh, you can do everything you know you can do but uh, you, you don't know where you stand with the liar 
the guy, the person who say they're gonna do something and they don't do anything with you. Or the people who have a doubt should or should not. And play this game for years. And all it does is put you like in the middle of a mud and beat on you so you get more deep and deep on that mud. And you try to get off and you can't. And you get yourself stuck. You get yourself on this position of stuck because of uh, uh, the way of you understanding the things. And here is the part that uh, when you let go of this part and nobody's pushing you anymore down, you start to come up on your own. You start shaking, you start moving, you're like, this is dirt, I don't need it in my life. This is a pain, I don't need it in my life. This is a suffering. Heck no, I'm sick and tired. I don't want to feel this part anymore. And this is the part when you truly, truly, truly surrender. Let's say, for example, how to get yourself unstuck, okay? Your twin flame, it's, let's say 300, 400, 700 miles, 1000 miles, He's far away, different town, different place, different country, okay? And you call them and they're like, you know what? I understand you have feelings for me, but I have a family, I have a kids, and uh, I am, uh, I'm okay. I understand you love me, uh, I understand you have feelings for me. I have some, I have some feelings but not at all and uh, they cannot have the power to tell you I love you and all of a sudden you getting yourself stuck waiting they to tell you I love you and you to continue on that program that beginning I was giving it to you as the twin flames And when that program doesn't run, you're stuck. You feel like nothing moves, nothing going on. You have to learn to do 180 degrees opposite of what you've been doing. If you send them a love, you stop, send, you stop sending them that love. If you are obsessed with them, you learn to let it go. If you're on the pain of them, you surrender of them. You don't need that pain. If you have a fear you're going to lose them, you trust the universe. And you let them go. And that's the part I'm trying to explain to a lot of people because uh, everybody's trying to suffer and suffer and suffer. I'm tired to hear, you know, uh, Dio, I'm in pain, he or she does this and that. I'm giving you how to help yourself. How to help yourself on a different, higher level of understanding. Because if you understand, you know, when you put the universe inside of you, the universe is going to shift, move you. Until it comes in, it says like here, that is your spot now. Okay, stay here and don't go anywhere. For right now, here, stay. Just stay, just, everything's gonna be perfect. So please relax, you're home, relax. And you will know this, you will, you will know when a, this thing happens to you, the everything that uh, you're going to do is you don't have to do the effort you don't have to do this uh, games of uh, oh I'm a pretty I have to make myself pretty or uh, uh, go ahead and uh, yeah you know I'm like this but inside you're not like this like in a normal relationship you know when you try and you say, you know, I'm like this, I'm like that, I'm like this, I'm like that. And you live with that person, all of a sudden they're completely, totally different. 
and then you're like, who beat me to marry you? Right? You know what I'm talking about. I know you're laughing. Now, here is when the universe brings that uh, connection, that part. Everything is effortless. There is no effort. Everything is flowerless. Everything goes smooth, relax, with peace. Simply because the person wants exactly what you want. The universe puts two things together and the universe says, here we go. Now, here's the picture for you. Here's the inner kids who play with both of you. Here's the hearts they are gonna be and connect to each other. Here is the souls they're gonna get together. Here is the energies come together. Here is the vibrations from the universe. Get to work. Get your bodies together. And everything is gonna be on this giant bubble love. And when that giant bubble love comes in, you will know. But if you're stuck in some place and the universe tries to pick you up, you're stuck because of you. You can't evolve if you don't allow the universe to work within you. Someone doesn't want to work with you. Someone doesn't want to even tell you I love you. Big deal. It was the same thing like in a normal relationship that... Uh, um, you went out on a date with someone and they tell you, you know, I like you, you look good, but I'm sorry, I don't love you. What do you do? You go, you cry, you swallow it, and two, three weeks, four weeks, here we go, somebody else coming up. And it's the same thing it begins with uh, the soul relationships. This time though, we have a soul. We have a soul that we are connecting into it. And now because for the first time you feel the love within the soul, a lot of the people getting stuck. And if that person doesn't uh, reply to you back, uh, hey, I, I love you, but not in a way that you expect me to love you. I can't just drop everybody here and I can't drop my kids, I can't drop my life, I can't drop my husband, I can't drop the society, I can't drop my life, I can't forget this and that. I, I can find any excuse if that comes from ego. The soul says, oh, we are in two different countries. Well, I'm married, that can be arranged. I can divorce within a two or three months. I can work on it. I have a kid, you have a kid. That could be arranged. We can see what to do. We can manage in that part. Um, money. Well, you have that amount of money, I have that amount of money. Um, until we get together, we can be okay. Maybe you'll find job, I'll find job. You do this, I'll do this. It's going to be okay. Maybe a little bit harder for a little bit, but as long as we're together, we can manage. So the soul will find the solutions. The ego will find the excuses not to do it. And this is why when you're stuck as a twin flame on these positions and nothing going on, you need to understand it's time for you to move. It's time for you to do the 180 degrees over of what you've been doing. Simply because you've been doing this for like two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten years. I got someone message me, I've been doing with this with my twin and we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for 25 years. Okay, darling, I love you, you know, but uh, um, 
my answer of this was what to do with this uh, part. Allow the universe to work on you. Let the universe handle everything. Because the universe know exactly what your capabilities are, what your vibrations are, what your desires are, what is your expectations are, and what you really need. Then the universe says this person and it has another person that this person wants this from that and that person wants this from that. Okay, we're gonna put them together. And that's how it works. That's how it's created this power of the twin flames because the one understands the other and the other understands the other. It's not like uh, what we know about the Twin Flames at the beginning. At the Twin Flames at the beginning we have a different expectations. We have the expectations that a perfect one, they will do everything with us, they will fulfill everything, they will fulfill this mission, they will be everything. And down the road you figure it out that uh, there is something it's called destiny that you need to go and that destiny has a timeline that you need to do certain things that you need to do and the universe shifting and arrange everything to be done as properly way so if you have to evolve you have to change if you don't change, you don't evolve. If you don't get this part, that means you are stuck. And stuck on these uh, portions of this soul uh, level of uh, relationships uh, can prevent you from fully become awakened and do what you have to do. For some of the people I've been talking to, it, it's like... Uh, what is more important to you, your twin or uh, your mission? And a lot of the people reply to, well, both. Well, if your mission is to help thousands of people and you don't help a thousands of people because you are focused on your twin, not on the thousand people, like I, uh, you basically don't do what you're supposed to do by by the universe and you feel like you're wasting your time that something happened something different and the things are completely completely different story all you need to do is that the universe is in you focus on what you need to look understand what you need to look and start working with it. If you have to, picture yourself like a, um, you're driving a car. Your twin flame journey is to drive in a car. And everything is so intense, so it doesn't like a nothing works. Go ahead, pull the car to the side of the road. Stop the car, take a break, get yourself in a good mood and look at yourself, realize where you are, what are you doing, how are you doing, what is the impact you did by now, how much things did you learn, how much things did you understand and how they apply to your own happiness. How much you want to stop the suffering, the pain, and everything. And then ask your soul, dear soul, please guide me. You will find the soul is gonna do one word. Trust me, I know the road. And then you're going to trust that soul inside of you 
to lead you to the universe. And the soul says, trust me into the universe. You will understand this part when the vibrations from the universe just come inside of you. And when you try to go left and right and the universe just, hey, relax, relax. It's okay. It's just a vibration. It's okay. Go back to the road. It's okay, you're in the right position. And you feel this power like inside of you, like something it shuts you down. You feel this peace, like you want to go to sleep right away. And then it's like, okay, I'll follow that peace. If it's peaceful, it doesn't have intensity, it doesn't have pressures, must be a good. And this is how you will find out it is good. And when you find that road, you get yourself unstuck. And when you find that peace, you finally get your car and go back on the road of your journey. And now you say, you know what, universe? You drive the car. I'm going to be in the back seat enjoying what you have for me. And that's why a lot of the people when they get stuck, they get stuck because they control the wheel, the gas, and everything. And all of a sudden the car doesn't move. Why doesn't move? You forgot to turn on the keys. The universe drives the car. The universe got your journey started. Not you. The universe. And when you understand these parts, then you're going to understand how the universe helps you to get yourself unstuck of your situation and your soul relationship that you have. And then, if you, you need to understand, you gotta change. If you don't change, you, you are insane. You doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over, expecting different results. Ain't gonna happen. You change on 180 degrees, see what happened to you. See how the thing's going to be, all of a sudden everything's going to open up and it's going to be like, oh, I evolve. Thank you, Dio. You're welcome. And that's the part I'm making those videos. So maybe you, uh, the one, the listener, are uh, helping you with those videos out to get better in your life. So thank you so much for watching this video. Looking forward to your comments. Be loved.